Um, for other people um, that might want to um, take a look at it later on. Um, and then, yeah, um, you're welcome to stop me at any moment um, during the presentation if you have any questions. And yeah, so we can get started now. Uh, my name is Alex. I work at the Aurora Public Library um, in the Centauri um, branch. Um, you can find me there most mornings. And yeah, so today we're going to talk about um, how to get um, started uh, with using a computer um, and understanding the basic components of it, um, as well as talking a bit about um, what resources the library has um, for you to use. Um, so yeah, let's get going. So first things first, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, the computer hardware, the very basics of it. Um, so the main um, component of a computer is the desktop, um, or the most popular, I would say. Um, so a desktop um, has two things. The computer itself, which has um, all of the little pieces that sort of work like the brain of the computer, and that so for humans to understand it and see it, um, you need a um, screen. Um, as you can see, this is the screen right here um, in the computer. It's either within, in the back of the, the monitor or um, on the side as a box. And then you also need a keyboard um, to type out and words um, and then a mouse, which works as a clicker and pointer. Um, and of course, we have the laptops, which work as an all-in-one um, sort of computer. Um, so they have the screen, the keyboard, a mouse, and the computer itself, the brain, um, all in one piece. Um, so they're really great because you can move them around everywhere um, with you and take them, um, take them with you wherever you go, essentially. Uh, yeah, so that's the basics of it. Um, I also have a few videos um, that can explain some of these concepts a little bit better uh, than maybe I have done um, just now. Um, so I'm going to play them for you. Um, this one is about computers in general. Um, here we go. There are many different types of computers, but they all use similar parts to operate. In this video, we're going to show you what these parts are and what they're used for, starting with a standard desktop model. The computer case holds the main components of the computer. This is where the actual processing happens. Today, most cases are what we call tower cases, which means they stand up vertically, but they can also come in other shapes and sizes. To view things on your computer, you'll need a monitor. The monitor uses the video processor inside your computer case to display images, text, and other content. Most monitors have an LCD or LED display, both of which are very thin so they don't take up much space. All-in-one models are even more compact since they combine the monitor and the computer case into a single unit. To interact with your computer, you'll need a keyboard and a mouse. Keyboards come in many different styles, including wireless and ergonomic. The mouse is used to control the mouse pointer on the screen, so you can click and interact with your computer. Most mice detect movement using an optical sensor on the bottom. Underneath, you'll find a small electronic eye. Laptops combine all of these things into one. That includes the components that are normally inside the computer case, plus a built-in screen, keyboard, and touchpad. The touchpad is a small touch-sensitive area that takes the place of a traditional mouse. It lets you control the mouse pointer using a drawing motion with your finger. Laptops offer the best of both worlds when it comes to portability. You can use them on the go thanks to the built-in battery, or you can connect a separate monitor, keyboard, and mouse, effectively turning your laptop into a desktop. So those are the basic parts of any computer setup. As you can see, each part plays an important role, which you'll come to understand as you spend more and more time with your computer. 
Okay, um, I hope that was helpful. Um, I also, um, I know a lot of people struggle um, using, learning how to use a mouse um, for at the very beginning. So I also included uh, a, a short video on um, explaining a little bit more in detail um, how um, best to use a mouse. Um. Mouse? Yikes! Not that kind of mouse! This kind of mouse. A computer mouse. The computer mouse is a computer input device that controls a cursor on the computer screen. By moving the mouse along a flat surface, you can move your cursor too. And you press the buttons on the mouse to select something on the screen. This is called clicking. Your mouse probably looks something like this, but computer mice come in many different shapes and sizes. On a standard mouse, there are two buttons and a scroll wheel. Using your left button is called a left click, and you do this to select items with a single click. Or you can double click on an icon to start a program on the computer. Using the right button is called a right click, Right-clicking an item or icon will open a pop-up menu with useful options. If you right-click by accident, don't worry. Simply click again with your left button on the screen away from the pop-up menu. Use the scroll wheel to see text and items lower down on a page and not yet visible on the screen. Here are some useful tips for using your mouse. Always keep your mouse flat on the table or desk. Don't be a crazy clicker. Click once or twice for double click and wait for the computer to respond before clicking again. Keep your index finger on the left button to minimize accidental right clicks. And now you are ready to practice using your mouse. Have fun exploring where your mouse can take you on your computer. Um, yeah, um, so that's just like a little introduction of um, what how to start using a computer. Um, now, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, the different computers that are available um, here through the library. Um, so first is the public computers, which um, are, you can find them in all of the three branches and they all come with Microsoft products loaded into them. So Word, Excel, PowerPoint, um, Sarah, um, they are all ready for you to use. Um, and they are also connected to the printers. Um, so you just have to print everything and then head to your closest printer in the library and scan your library card. And everything um, that you send to the printer will come out there. Um, and then, but yeah, if you want to use a Chromebook, check out our Chromebook. Um, maybe you wanted to sit um, someplace else more quiet um, in the library, or you wanted to take it home, um, you would um, grab a Chromebook and um, that you can check out a circulation desk. And the only thing is that um, it's mainly um, more for using um, the internet. So going to check your email or doing um, uh, a search um, online uh, rather than using uh, Microsoft products. Um, so, and if you wanted to print, um, it's also not directly connected to the printer. So you have to go through a few extra steps um, so that um, anybody um, at um, and digital services can help you um, on those steps, but you would go through the library's website. Um, there's actually a link here um, that later on we can share the presentation with you. That you can click on um, and then it will take you to um, the place within the library's website where you would um, send what you want to print. Um, and last but not least is the Makerspace laptop. So at, in the Makerspace, um, if you're not familiar with it, um, it's a place where you can be create a little bit more creative. Um, there we have 3D printers, um, bino cutter, um, and a few other um, things um, that you can use to make, to create um, different designs and different products. Um, but um, within the computers, you can also use um, Photoshop, um, Corel Draw, and a few other products 
um, softwares that um, can help you make creations. And to use a makerspace laptops, you would need to make an appointment um, for, the, for the makerspace uh, and then just spend some time there. I really encourage it um, if you um, are creative or maybe you just want to check it out. Um, definitely um, head that way. And you can make a, a reservation um, through the library's website. And okay, so next up um, on the line is um, using the internet. That is another common thing that we, that um, people um, use a computer for. Um, I argue it's the most common um, reason why people use a computer nowadays. Um, so first things first, um, you need a browser. So browsers um, connect you to the internet and there are many kinds. So your computer, most likely, if it's a Microsoft computer, it is already loaded um, with uh, Microsoft Edge. Um, if it's an Apple product, then it has Safari. Um, but you can also download additional browsers if you prefer something different, like Chrome or Firefox. Um, personally, I like either Chrome or Firefox. Um, Firefox has a little bit more security um, than Chrome, so I often end up using Firefox. And um, when you get the presentation, you can actually click on them and then it will take you to links to download those into your computer. Um, once you get started um, with the internet in one of the browsers, whichever you choose to go into, um, then you either will go into your email or into a search engine to um, browse the internet. Um, and the most popular one, of course, um, most, most popular search engine is, of course, Google. Um, so you would type google.com and then they would take you there um, to do any search. But there's a lot more other search engines um, out there. Um, I just listed two additional ones um, that I think are really good um, in terms of security. Google tracks a lot of um, the things that you do on the internet. Um, so if you wanted um, some, um, yeah, not to be tracked as much, you would want to use um, something like Quant or DuckDuckGo. Um, again, they also have their links to it. So for example, I will click on Quant and this will take you to its page. It looks very similar to Google um, and you can just search anything here. Uh, and I'll go back to the presentation. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so um, next up, um, something that's really common to do is checking your email. So, um, I also didn't list all of the emails, of course, there's a lot, a lot out there, but these are the most popular. So Gmail, um, Outlook, and Yahoo. Um, so yeah, if you didn't know what the web address for the email was, you would just go into a search engine. For example, here, we wanna go to Gmail. Uh, you would just type that up uh, using the keyboard and then, um, Usually um, the first or the second link will take you to it. So it's actually the second one. And then this takes you to the login. And so you can sign in and um, using your credentials. And, but if you do know what the, um, the address is, um, that you could just um, head to it. So for Yahoo, it's mail.yahoo.com. Um, you don't necessarily need to do this. It's automatically the HTTPS um, um, portion of it. So you could just type um, um, mail.yahoo.com and it would take you um, to that page as well and automatically add this portion um, into it. Uh, yes, yeah, so... Um, that is sort of how to get it, how to get to email, um, how to use um, search engines and the different options that there are out there. Um, I'm gonna take a little a second to pause and see if anybody has any questions so far. 
um, or one's clarification in any way. Okay, um, I will head to the next um, part. Um, so now another common thing that um, you might want to use a computer for um, is to use um, Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. Um, all three are really um, great um, software programs. Um, Word is a word processor that you can use to write letters, resumes, uh, reports, um, brochures. Um, it's almost like a blank piece of paper. Um, maybe if you're, instead of taking notes um, with a paper and pencil, you would want to do them on Word um, so that maybe they're more legible um, or easy, just easy to understand and, and save. Um, Maybe you might lose your notebook more easily or get it wet or anything like that. But on Word, you can keep it online um, or in a USB drive. And so it's a little bit more safe um, and hard to lose. Um, Excel is a spreadsheet program that is very common for people that are in, in accounting or um, um, in any other sort of business area that needs anal data analysis. Um, but you can also use it to organize um, and store data. Um, and I'll show you a few examples in a second. Um, it's really great also to just make charts um, and different visualizations. Uh, and then, yeah, we have PowerPoint, which is a uh, um, presentation program that um, where you can use um, use it to make um, demonstrations, lectures, reports. Um, for example, what you're seeing right now is a presentation. It was not made on PowerPoint, but I could have easily made it on PowerPoint. And um, what's great about all of this three is that they you can use them in the public computers here at the library. Um, and yeah, so I will actually show you um, just a little bit about each of these programs um, in case you're, you've never seen them before. Um, so this is what a word looks like um, when it's just blank. So you, when you open up Word, this is what you get, uh, a blank piece of paper. And here you have a lot of different options. Um, what's really like, if you're just starting, if you just wanted to write a letter, you could just start typing here. Um, and as you can see here, um, using the keyword, you get all of these options as well. Um, once you type, um, so you can make it bold, you can make it italicized. You can also change what it looks like. Um, so you can change the font pretty easily and the size as well in here. Um, so yeah, this is just what you get, um, but I am going to show you different things that you can do with Word, such as a resume. So you can start building up a resume um, from scratch, or um, I will show you in a second what else you can do um, to get um, sort of a, um, a um, um, sorry, I forgot the word. Um, something that, you, that can help you get started and just filling in the blanks. Um, here is another example. So if you wanted to write a letter, um, this is really what it would look like. Um, something super simple. Again, it looks a lot um, of what you could do with just pen and uh, paper. And uh, last but not least, this is another example. Uh, for example, if you wanted to make maybe a flyer or um, this is a party invitation. So something like that, you could do it um, through here. Um, and by, this is a picture and so just, and then lots of words. And so you can do all of that here on Word. Um, okay, so I'll show you how you can do, um, oh yeah, templates. How you can set up a template. So you would just click new and here are a lot of templates. So um, a very common, um thing that people want to use um 
word for it is to make a resume. So there's actually like several here options are very common, um, but you can search other things. So you can go resume. Your I'm sorry. Yes. Excuse me. I can't see your screen clearly. You can't see my screen? Yes, not clearly. I can't see it, but not really clearly. They're blurry. It might be. Is that is anybody else having that problem? Oh, I uh, I see it, it. It is a little bit blurry, but I'm I am able to to read everything on the screen. So I'm I'm not sure what the issue might be. Just be the connection for right now um, on your end or maybe our, my end um, for the internet, um, but hopefully it gets better soon. Um, but yeah, so as I was saying here, there's lots of examples um, or templates that you can use um, to start on a resume. So you can just choose one that you like and then just um, changing the content um, to what your experiences are. Um, in your background, um, it's pretty simple. And yeah, so that's Word, um, Excel. Um, again, this is, it's a spreadsheet um, software and this is what you get um, when you um, open a new um, Excel sheet. Um, but yeah, you do get a lot of really great options here. Um, it may be a little bit overwhelming at first um, because there's lots of things that you can do with it. But here are some examples of the different things that you can do. So maybe you wanted to have a family budget. Um, this, I also found it through a template um, that Excel has, um, which is the same, um, new. And then here are lots of templates and you can type in um, maybe whatever you're looking for. Um, and yeah, so this is an example that makes um, for um, has like a, a calculation. So calculations can be done if you wanted to um, add. Um, so this one adds um, a couple of the the calc the numbers that are in here um, in different cell in different um, sheets. So this is how, how you can organize something like that. It doesn't have to be as complex, but it's an example of the different things that you can do with Excel. Um, here is a more business oriented one. Um, I'm going to just show some graphs that you can do in here as well, um, some charts. Um, so all of this is possible with Excel. Um, and last is, um, PowerPoint, which is the presentation software. And um, this is what a blank um, presentation would look like, but um, you can also um, have something like this where you just start um, adding um, different design components to it. Um, here is an example of a graph would look like. And, you can also add pictures. There's lots of lots of different things that you can add here um, in different options. Um, you can make your own drawings by adding different shapes. Uh, and yeah, so this is more for presentations. And um, the cool thing about um, all three of this is that they can be connected. So if maybe you wanted to add to, maybe you made it a chart on Excel or, um, or a table and you wanted to add that into a Word document or maybe you wanted to add it to a PowerPoint and you can pretty easily connect um, all three um, so that um, you can have content that is in one thing originally um, linked to all of all the other two um, programs. And yes, so I also wanted to mention that there is a nice alternative to Microsoft um, products because Microsoft Office products, because Microsoft Office um, is not free. And so 
if you don't have access, maybe you didn't want to come to the library to use services, um, or you're using the Chromebook, you want to use some an alternative. Um, in that a really great one is um, Google Drive. Um, Google Drive has all of the all of the same um, products that Microsoft offers um, or similar products um, that um, you can use for free as long as you have a Google account. Um, so if you use Yahoo e email, then you might not um, be able to access this until you make a, a Google email account. And um, it's a free, it's free, so you can just make a new email and have access to all of the services. So Google Docs looks very, very similar to Microsoft Word, and you can use it to do pretty much the same stuff. So make a resume, um, make um, a flyer, different things like that. And Google Sheets um, works very similarly to um, Microsoft Excel. And um, Google Slides is all similar to PowerPoint. Um, and then same as Microsoft um, Office, you can um, sort of um, work with all three of the products to um, make a presentation or a report um, using different graphs that you made on Google Sheets um, and vice versa, um, maybe using components on Google Docs into Google Sheets. Um, something also that's really nice about Microsoft Office is or about um, Google, um, the Google products here is that um, everything is saved on the cloud. What that means is that everything is saved um, to your account and whenever you log in, so maybe you don't have to use the same computer, you will have access to your, your work um, right away, the same way that you left it. Um, it typically auto saves, so you don't have to worry about saving anything. Uh, with Microsoft, um, a lot of times people um, lose their work because they forget to save. Um, so this one, it's really sort of like cuts down on that um, problem by auto saving for you into your account, your Google account. And yeah, the, another additional thing about it is that you can easily share um, your work um, to people so that um, they can view it or they can edit it. And um, that's a great way to collaborate or maybe you wanted to um, share a slideshow to somebody um, without them being able to manipulate it or change anything about it. But um, for example, how I will later on um, send this power presentation to you, but instead you could see it live or um, um, have your own, your own copy as well. Um, yeah, so um, are there any questions so far on either Microsoft Office or Google? Um, drive products. Okay. Um, yeah, so next up, I am going to talk a little bit more on how you can go deeper into learning about Microsoft Word or Google, um, or the Google Docs, Google Sheets, um, Google Slides. Um, using um, some of the different resources that we have here at the library. Um, yeah, so you can, um, we have um, something called LinkedIn Learning, which has hundreds and hundreds of videos uh, that you can use to learn um, different software, different product uh, programs um, that can help you sort of get it. Um, started even more quickly into using a computer. I don't think I can go into detail about um, any of the Microsoft Office programs within um, the length of a workshop um, because there is a lot of things to it. And um, I think that the best way to get started is through one of the LinkedIn learning courses. So they do have uh, multiple courses on Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, um, PowerPoint, and et cetera, et cetera, that can get you started. Um, 
and I will show you actually how to log in um, so that you don't have problems with it um, when you are home or when you come here to the library. You can also come here and um, use one of the public computers, just bring your headphones and use um, LinkedIn Learning. And we can also, um, the digital services staff, they can help you um, get logged in if you have any trouble with it. So um, I'm going to use my library card. So here's a signing with library card. And um, the code, I included it. Oh, someone added it. Okay. Um, I included a, the ID, so it's APLD um, Aurora IL. Um, and so that is what you would type in here. And then that puts you into um, this place where you can, this page where you can um, add your library card number and your PIN number. So I will add mine right here. So here, I'm actually been taking some, some courses myself. It shows you here. Um, but um, if we wanted to go into Microsoft Word, um, they are multiple courses um, and videos that you can see as you can see. Yeah, there's like almost 2,000 videos um, in 52 courses. Um, the essentials though, it's maybe what you, where you want to get started, um, like Word, 2019 essential training. And that is two hours, two and a half hours of videos that show you really all of the components of Word. From um, as you can hear, you can even take quizzes. And so if you wanted to sort of practice a little bit more, if you don't have Word in your house, that's why I recommend that you come to the library and use one of our public computers um to to get started and yeah so um as i said there are uh lots and lots of different videos um, here for different areas um so not just for microsoft excel not just for um google sheets um things like that there's um a lot of different other things like accounting human resources um, whatever really that you can think of that you, you need additional help with um, or that you don't know how to use. There's even a um, computer basics um, if you wanted to um, sort of have more, more into, more knowledge into using computers. Um, there's um, a Windows 10, 10 tips and tricks, sort of like use how to use um, really like the basics of navigating um, a Windows computer. Um, yeah, so if you also have a Mac, there's there's some videos here. So all of that is, it's accessible to you um, through the library. Um, once you um, log into LinkedIn Learning and with your library card. Uh, yeah, so now uh, we can have some time for questions. Also, I can um, work out um, a specific problem that you have um, with you um, with computers. Um, I'm happy to hear about um, where you are um, in the stage of using a computer um, and being comfortable um, navigating um, the internet or um, different software programs on your, your computer. Okay, um, well, if there are no any questions, um, well, my presentation is done. Um, thank you for joining. Um, I hope this was helpful for you. And um, I hope that you also continue to use the library resources that we have available to you. Um, I know that we will have a couple more um, 
workshops this summer that maybe you have an interest in. So um, just remember to um, contact us if you wanna if you wanna know more information or anything like that. Um, the presentation um, will be shared um, or the video of this will be shared on YouTube um, so that if you ever want to go back to it, you can do so. Uh, and then I think that the people that signed up for this, um, we have their emails. So we might be able to send um, the, um, thank you, um, send the presentation to you directly through email. If not, um, I will see how we can get it on the website um, so that you can click through the different links that I, I added, um, like the LinkedIn learning link um, or um, the links that I um, added to um, this page, which takes you to um, the different, how to download the different browsers, the how to, where to log in to the emails and the different search engines that I listed here. Um, yeah, thank you everyone.